public servants tonight that you cannot put any faith or confidence in the Barbados Labour Party. If government is the chief offender of providing you with unhealthy and unsafe conditions, less in pain, supersession, go to any police station, Black Rock police station, you go in this police station and go up the stairs and you see a sign mark. Keep out. Danger. You go to the Hastings police station, roof falling down on your head. And I'm going to find that myself and Conrad Medical Facility. The Government Electrical Engineering de Department, the Registry of Public Service has to work in condemn the question is, what kind of mercy they have for public servants? Where is the social justice? Where is the fairness? And where is the equity prevailing in terms of the rights of public servants in this country? That is the deception being practiced by the Barbados State Party. But in contrast, if you look at the record of the Democratic Labour Party, we have passed legislation in this country because we recognize that public servants are to be respected and that employees are to be respected in the private sector. And the record is clear. The record is clear. In 1964, we amended the trade union act so that it would be peaceful picketing to allow public service servants to join unions for the first time and also to give protection to trade union officers and members from being victimized for their trade union membership. But that is not all. We passed the Sugar Workers Minimum Wage and Employment Guarantee Act in 1964. Tell them. Because we want, at the time, the vision was that workers would get loans so that they can improve their standard of living. It allow our agricultural workers to get loans so that they can improve their standard of living, get their houses, and also improve the life of their children. They did not go further. In 1967, the Democratic Labour Party passed the National Insurance Act. We passed the Severance Payment Act in 1971. So they cannot question a record. They cannot question a record with respect to public service in this country. The record cannot be questioned. It speaks for itself. So, I say to you tonight that we are on a course for victory. We will form the next government. We must join hand in hand and fight the Barbados Labour Party. We cannot allow people like Neil Martin. We cannot allow people like Jerome Walker. Lynn Thompson. And in fact, when the Barbados Labour Party came to you with their manifesto pledge, that no one should be left behind. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> man. That you all should be left behind, no? I don't know what interpretation Jerome gave it. I don't know what interpretation Jerome gave to that principle that no one should be left behind <laughs> or that no one behind should be left <laughs> what I said that no 
walk behind you. Should be left. that on the Democratic Labour Party, you will have a government that believe in the principles of transparency, that believe in accountability, that believe that corruption should be worked out completely in this country. And I said, you get tonight that he must apologize. I think I'm going to make a phone. That's the So when you can say that it's a criminal act, <laughs> go and speak to Hamilton Ashley. Go and visit the UDC report. Because you know that money was taken from the UDC and given to a man to set up a shop. About $15,000. When they went in the plane to look for the shop, the shop was never in existence. Never in existence. Money was given to dead people. They created history. Giving money to dead people. But that was not a criminal act. But Mr. Dugan was no. But my friends are spent by dead people too. Dugan must know that I will be coming after him. Because Carrie went after him in a different way. I will not come after him politically. Not personally at all. You realize this all? But I want one more minute. I want one more minute. You have it. The stark reality today is that ordinary Barbados, and in fact the 16,000 Barbados that want a house for national housing, cannot get a house for national housing, cannot get one for UDC, cannot get one for the Pilots, cannot get, get one for Hardwood, cannot get one from the Barbados Labour Party at all, at all, at all, at all, at all. And I say to you tonight, that the Democratic Labour Party will bring affordable housing to you. We'll make land affordable to you. We'll make sure that you receive your just due. Because we believe in the concept of social justice. We believe in justice. And we believe that workers in this country must respect it. And that they must be given their just due. Yes. Good night, ladies and gentlemen.